Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. We have with us today a box of Modern Horizons once again. And we've also got some awesome sweet little mail that just came in uh, just a couple days ago. So I uh, cut this open. I don't think there's any contents um, on the outside. So I think we should be safe there. But we got some, uh, some hopefully some pretty sweet stuff here from our friends over at Exotic MTG. And uh, looks like hooked us up with a big pile of cards here. Uh, looks like a lot of Modern Horizons. I'm going to take a look here. And then there's another um, sweet pack of stuff over there that we'll take a look at here in a minute. So looks like color coded. Oh, sweet. Old school islands. Um, so a big pile of stuff here. Let's take a look. Yeah, oh, I do love the Timber Pack Wolves. Plummet, Shelter. Oh, Goat Nap. Nice little snow covered. We'll get plenty of those out of here. Um, the Modern Horizons will be for a couple of patrons, so we'll take a look at that and see what we can get. Hopefully we can get a nice little uh, Renin 6. That would be most excellent. But thanks for joining us here today. So we're going to start with our contents here. Chiller Pillar. Yeah, so this looks like our common and uncommon package. And then we've got a little bag of goodies here as well. And I did sneak a peek, so I did get to see some of this. But look at what we got sent here. An amazing future sight pack. So we'll have to bust that open here too. Uh, looks like we got, oh, and a War of the Spark pack. Awesome. So big shout out and thank you to Exotic MTG. He's got a... YouTube channel of his own and uh, an awesome Discord group as well. So um, make sure to check them out. Again, Exotic MTG, really awesome guys. Um, oh, and the Magus of the Bazaar, a foil, uh, foil rare. That is really sweet. Thank you so much. That is fantastic. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, look at this. We got a Krenko. Uh, let's see what else we got here. And he just sent this as a uh, as a care package. Morph token, which one is this? Smoke Shroud? Nice. Well, that's sweet. Uh, let's see what else we got over here. Uh, we got Baron Moore. Oh, really epic punch. Oh, sweet. Full Art Island. That's pretty awesome. Uh, some Modern Horizons right on theme. Force of Despair. Ooh, and a Syndicate Trafficker. And an Angelic Chorus. Some life gain there. And then, let's see what else we got. We got a couple more of these. We got a Frazzle. Counter target non-blue spell. Uh, a Mud Button Torch Runner. Very interesting name there. Very interesting guy. And a Magma Jet. That's sweet. Nice foils here. Golgari Rotworm. And, of course, one of the best foils. It looks so cool. Fire and Ice. Very awesome. Let's see what we got in this last one here. Then we'll get into some packs as well. We've got Half a Monkey. we got a Joyride Rigger. we got a Ground Pounder. A Mother Kangaroo. A Druid. we got Best in Show. And we've got the Vent Sentinel. So kind of a mixed bag of uh, of cards there so super awesome thank you to marcus over at uh, exotic mtg well um i guess i think he called this the uh, coronavirus uh kind of care package so super awesome of him so we'll open this on up see if we can get a hit uh so we get war of the spark here let's see how we do so again um make sure you check him out see if we can give him some love we'll send some of our Folks on over there. A really awesome hit here in the uncommon slot. Ashiok Dream Render. And Nahib Dreadhorde Champion. And I thought we had a foil there. Divine Arrow. Sweet. Well, Ashiok is going to be the best of the bunch there, at least as far as out of that. And then Future Sight. This is incredible. I think, I mean, I know Tarmogoyf's in here. I think that's a Chroma's Memorial. I think Sliver Legion is going to be ideally what you're looking for out of here so that would be incredible so 
Regardless, absolutely amazing that you're hooking us up with this. Um, that is incredibly generous, and we, uh, Brett and I both, really appreciate it. So let's see if we can get lucky. I'm not sure in the um, commons and uncommon spot. We'll kind of just check through these and see. But uh, pretty excited. Hopefully we can get something good. I think the uh, Dryad Arbor's in here too. Is that an uncommon? That'd be a nice hit. Sliver? Sliver Legion, I think, is the top end. All right, there's our first uncommon. And our second. All right, Storm Entity. Let's see if we can do a little, little peek there. 2-2. Two, two. What is it going to be? Oh, a Shimmy Inspector is going to be our hit here. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player reveals his or her hand. Choose a non-land card. From it, search that player's graveyard hand and library for all cards with the same name as that card and move it from the game. Oh, that's mean. That's very mean. So there you have it. Sweet. Uh, don't know if it's got value or not. Probably not, but really awesome card. So once again, thank you to Marcus and, uh, and Exotic MTG for hooking us up. Really awesome. Uh, next up, we've got our box for the day. So let's get this baby busted on open. This is a box that is sponsored by our patrons. And uh, we've got Chris A. And we've got Mark W. coming in once again. And uh, they are splitting this box. So uh, let's say, Chris, you get the left side. We'll start with Chris. And uh, Mark, you'll get the good old right side here. So good luck to you guys. Uh, if you want to support us, guys, you can always check out the links in the description. TCG player, become a patron. Otherwise, you can like, subscribe, share with your friends. And let's jump right into it here. So thanks for sticking around if you're still sticking with us here. All right, so we got a snow-covered plains into the plane-bound accomplice. Dump in your planeswalkers. Wall of Blossoms, also an awesome card. And a sliver and a talisman. Talismans are good. We'll throw those in there as well. So really sweet cards here. Good luck to you guys. Chris, we'll fire it off with you and see if we can get you both some amazing hits. That's the goal. And again, check out Exotic MTG. Um, give them some love over there for hooking us up here with some bonus content. Mountain into the Gilded Light. And... Oh, 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 oh Chris, spicy, you have done well, my friend. The Ren and Six. Outstanding hit. Wow. Well, that's uh, it's about as good as it gets right there. <laughs> wow. That is how you start it off. That is so sweet. Oop, I don't want to steal from the wrong side here. Stealing from the wrong side. I'm a little tilted here. Put that back over there. Man, oh man. Well, just a couple packs in and already killing it. Well played, sir. You'll have to save some for uh, for Mark over here. A spiteful sliver? That is crazy. Yeah, plain bomb. Let's put you in a rare slot. We'll do good uncommons. We'll do foils over here. There we go. Man, that is the kind of start you want to see. Three packs in, you got to run in six. Absolutely incredible. Well, good luck the rest of the way. Forest into the Astral Drift. Regrowth, that's another good one. And big ol' Urza's Rage. We won't through, uh, look through the uncommons. Apologize if you guys are wanting to see those. I don't think there's anything of um, significant value. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe so. Snow Covered Mountain, and the Crashing Footfalls. I was looking for the Soul Herder and a handful of other cards that are in there as well. Lots of awesome stuff. Alright, well, Ren and Six right away is a, is a very excellent start. And the Nether Spirit. The creepy little Nether Spirit coming out of the ground. And another Talisman. Nice. And that nice snap of the cards there as well. So let us know uh, what you guys think. Uh, if it's thrown in some kind of bonus content in the beginning. Um, if that's something you like. If you want it saved for the end. Um, just let us know your thoughts on that. 
and the cordial vamper. That's what we think about the cordial vampire. <laughs> that stinky old cordial vampire. All right, let's see if we can get you another nice hit. We started out with the Wren. You gotta be feeling really awesome about that. Uh, can we get multiple forces? Force of negation is what we really wanna see. Ninja Ninja. And the Lightning Skelemental. That is a sweet card with scale up. I do like the Lightning Skelemental. That is an awesome card. So lots of good stuff in here. Urza is the probably next big dog that you can look to hit. And the Scrapyard Recombiner, or as Brett would say, the Recombinator. Rebuild, Carrion Feeder. Let's put that in there. That's a good card. Nature's Chant. Lots of good stuff out of Modern Horizons. But uh, Renin 6 has really shot back up. I don't know exactly when it did. It was in the last handful of months here, but that really jumped back up. Island into the Mist Syndicate Naga. Vengeful Devil, Lanawar Tribe. Good card as well. I do love my elves. You won't convince me otherwise. Always go elf tribal. Forest into the Unbound Flourishing. I haven't opened this for quite a while. Get your hydras, uh, hydras going, amongst other things. Nice and a generous gift. So we got a couple of mythics here early. Very nice. I believe we're going to have a nice even distribution for you guys here. Both of you guys get really awesome cards. So Chris, definitely off to a nice little start. Mountain. Oh, into a Mother Bear foil. Into Kaya's Guile. Very useful card. Baron Moore. Um, what else is up there in this set right now? Uh, the swords are all good. Yogmoth has come up again nicely. Uh, I don't know. Morophon's pretty awesome. Force of Negation, I think, is going to be your big one um, in the rare slot. And you're on thin ice, buddy. Another Talisman. I always like to include those for uh, Commander. They're just nice little mana fixers, nice little mana rocks. So if you play your Commanders, those are good ones, and so they're not terribly expensive. Um, but they're very useful to have around. Zombie. Island into the Plague Engineer. Don't know where this is at these days, but that's definitely one um, that you're going to want to hold on to. Oh, you got to throw in the Crypt Rats and the Unicorn. Both very useful cards. Brett's always talking about combos, and uh, Good Fortune Unicorn is definitely one of them. He goes over in his Commander uh, combo video. All right, Planes into the Meritlage's Slumber. Very, very nasty card. And a Soul Herder. Nice. Seb McKinnon at his finest. Yeah. Merit Lage is a very, very mean card. Plenty of ways to cheat that. It's not very nice. Not very nice to do to your friends. Brett Island. And there it is. The Force of Negation. Wow. What an excellent hit. Chris, you have done quite well, my friend. Another Talisman. Watcher is actually also good. Talisman and a Factor Fiction. It's a really nice pack. Alright, two more packs here. For Mr. Chris. And then we move on over to Mark. Pashalik Mons. Goblin. Alright, you got one more pack left here. As long as I didn't steal from the other side, I'll have to double check. I don't think I did. The Illusion. Swamper. Into a Glacial Revelation. And a Cloud Shredder Sliver is going to be your last pack for you. And then we've got the remainder here. Good luck to you here. Uh, will be for Mark. So, uh, two Mythics. Ren and Six is outstanding. And you got the Force of Negation. So, pretty awesome there. All right, we got Mr. Mark. Mark, uh, looking to get your revenge here. We'll see how you do. 
Put some of these off to the side here. We'll do a little cleanup here. One second, a little magic cleanup. And poof, they're gone. The cards are gone. Now they're just right up here. So Mark, good luck to you. Uh, let's see if we can get you an Urza right away. Also, I don't think we hit the foil rare or mythic, so that would be pretty awesome. So just kind of a nice, uh, casual, smooth video. We'll take our time here. Tectonic Reformation. This one's gotten a lot more talk and a lot more play with all the new cycling cards that are out. See, just like this. Cycling cards that are out there. It's actually a pretty cool card. But yeah, let's see if we can get you that Urza. Maybe Foil Rare, Foil Mythic. Uh, Prismatic Vista. That would be a nice one. Oh, also, uh, we didn't hit any of the land cycles, so I think you might go on a run of those. Ayula, Queen Among the Bears. Regrowth. Let's put aside our good uncommons. Yeah, so hopefully you get a run of the lands here. Prismatic Vista and all of the... Um, what do they call them? The Horizon Lands? Is that what they're calling them? I don't know the official name. Let me know. I might be forgetting what the official name is. Moonblade Shinobi. Into Force of Despair. Oh, don't be sad. Don't feel despair. Nothing but good stuff coming for the rest of the way. We are overdue on some mythics, so I think you may do quite well here. I'm feeling the Urza. The Urza is coming. Island. And the Genesis. And a Talisman. Very nice. A Tempered Sliver. A creepy frog beast. It's an awful lot like a Gitrog monster to me. Little, little suspicious there. Forest into Reap the Past is the foil rare. Hopefully we get another one, but it is a cool card. It's not highly valued, to be honest, but it's a really good card. Return X cards at random from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, your graveyard fills up late game. This is a this is an amazing draw card. And the Sun Baked Canyon, very nice. Make a little land pile for you here. I think you're gonna. Get a nice little run of the lands. I can just feel it. So hopefully we can get you there, Mr. Mark. Thank you once again for um, both of you, but uh, helping sponsor these boxes. It really does help us quite a bit. And there's Sarah, the Benevolent, your first mythic. Very nice. And another scale up. Hmm. What other mythics will we get? I think, again, I think we're due for an Urza. Let's see if we can hit that. Because right now we're just at uh, three mythics, I think, between both of you. So we're definitely due. Snow-covered planes and the Cabal Therapist. We prefer the Booster Therapist. See, there's another combo piece. Persist. Anytime you have Persist, you always have a potential combo. So look out for it. Never trust anyone with a Persist creature playing Commander. Or any format for that matter. Mountain. Into Hall of Heliod's Generosity. A very excellent land card. I'll put that in our little land pile. And a Tribute Mage. Also very good. Hmm. Where are our Mythics? Three is not going to fly. Three just won't do. I'm afraid. Just won't do. Give him the Urza. Urza right now. Oh, Sword of Sinew and Steel. Very nice. And a Soul Herder. This is a really good pack. Alright, we're going to go on a nice little run here. Look at this. Nice little run to the close. We got a couple of Mythics. We got a Sun Baked Canyon. Uh, we've got to get the Urza. We've got to get the Prismatic Vista. I think we can do it. Planes. Do a little peek. Rare, it is a Goblin Engineer. Vengeful Devil, Alpine Guide. That's one that I think was up a little bit at one point and it's kind of come back down. So let's we'll see as the meta shifts and demand shifts around. See how that card ends up. Mountain, little peaky peaky. The rare, it's going to be a waterlogged grove. Nice. Another one of the nice land cycle here. 
Always good to hit those. Very, very useful. I think Sunbaked Canyon is sitting the highest of those lands at this point, just because of the lack of card draw out of both white and red for the most part. Island? Into Mirrored and Besieged. Definitely do some combo wins with that. That one Matron's a good card. But can we get the Urza? I would really like to see it. Maybe a foil Urza, foil run and six. I mean, possible to get a duplicate on our run and six. I don't know that I've seen it, but I suppose it's possible. How about the future site? Can we predict what will be coming next? Talisman of Creativity. Uh, just a handful of packs left here for you, Mr. Mark. What will we get in the close? We've got to get you something good. Chris is so far our champion with the Renin 6 plus the uh, Force of Negation. It's our big boppers. Uh, the Deep Forest Hermit. And another Good Fortune Unicorn. I always use that. Oh, baby, we're getting down there. Uh, I think we're still just at four Mythics. I would love to see another one right now. And I want it to be Big Daddy Urza. Show me Urza. Oh, it's a mob. Okay, okay. Make me sweat it. And the first sliver. Nice. Another Mythic. Not bad. Cascade is a nasty, nasty ability. So we'll see. It's possible. We've gotten six, seven mythic boxes. We'll have to go on a run here. I still want to see the Prismatic Vista. I'd love to see Urza. I'm not going to get too greedy with it. I would love to see Urza, though. Let's see if we can get him here. Show me the Urza. Show me. Nice. Very eyelet. Very nice. Man, yep, you are hitting those lands. There is no doubt about it. Well, if you didn't get the top end mythic, at least you are hitting... Um, the land cycle, that's a really nice, uh, consolation prize, if you will, so fantastic. All right, just two packs left here, planes, into, nice! Oh, oh, what a box! Prismatic Vista, absolutely, unstoppably good right now. Wow. This has been really a nice box. Well, there you go. You got, uh, some good mythics there, you've got... Three of the draw card lands. You got Hall of Hilliad's Generosity, Prismatic Vista, and we've got one more pack for you here for Mr. Mark in the close. And we gotta wait a minute, Thundering Jin. Into Oh, Mr. Band himself, the band man, Hogak Arisen Necropolis. Is gonna be in the close with a pillage and a wing shards. Man, I don't know. I think you guys both did uh, really well. So, pretty awesome, guys. Um, we'll get this stuff shipped on out pretty soon here. Once again, big thanks to Marcus over at Exotic MTG. Make sure you check him out. Show him some love. Um, thank you to both Chris and to Mark. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So, until next time, this has been Booster Therapy.